money. Kelly is with us from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm better than I deserve. How are you, Dave? Just the same. What's up? I have a question. We have a brand new college student, and my question is around how to help him budget to help him feel responsible for his college education um, with the money that he's earning, knowing that he can't pay for it all. Okay. I'm a little bit confused. The money that he's earning... He's, he's developed a good work ethic, and we've always followed the principle that when the kids make any money or they get their commission, that 70% is spent, and then 20 and the 10% go into save and share. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't, he doesn't make enough money to pay for his college education. Mm-hmm. We have the money to do that. Mm-hmm. But we don't want to just freely write checks. Mm-hmm. And so I'm wondering... Why not? Why not? We want him to be invested in his education. Okay. Um, does that require money? Why can he not be emotionally invested in his education? Because well, I mean, it, cause it sounds a... like this is a good kid. It doesn't sound like you got a trouble kid here. Well, he is a good kid. And, and I'll tell you what was disappointing to us is that he worked hard all summer. And, when we, and, and we should have been watching more closely. But it really looks like he spent most of what he was making on coffee and fast food mm-hmm. and he wasn't putting much money in his savings account. Mm-hmm. So what was he, he is, was, did you have the expectation that he was going to pay for fall? We had an expectation that he was going to contribute and, and maybe that's where we made the mistake. Yeah, It is on you then. Cause you didn't okay. manage a, you didn't ma- manage a senior in high school's, thing here where you said okay you need this much money and that means you need to be putting aside this much a week and i'm going to look and verify that you are doing that okay because um he did what every high school senior would do coffee and fast food and um so um you know if you have an expectation that he now your reason for him paying for it is just that you want him invested though not because you need him to do that financially we really don't okay but, you know, I, the reason I'm asking I... is that there, there's a spectrum on paying for college, okay? All the way mm-hmm. to, I know one guy who's wealthy, and he won't pay a dime of his kid's college. He said, they're mm-hmm. going to figure it out. Uh, they can go get loans. They can they can work. They can do whatever, but I'm not paying for it. And I've told him that since they were three. Get over it. He's really wealthy. He can do it. He just, that's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is the end that, that uh, we were on, and that was we saved up and had the money, and we paid cash for their college and gave them a monthly uh, stipend to exist on. It was not a lot, but it was a reasonable amount. The kids always claimed it was about half of what they needed, so they had to work some to get some spending money. But, um, but they were invested, just not financially invested, in college. They had proven their ability to save and give with buying their first car, that kind of stuff. We, we taught that lesson there. We did not teach it at college. Uh, and yet every one of them, because we work together to manage schedules and expectations and uh, so forth. You're going to behave in a way that's consistent with our value system or we're not paying for it. Uh, And that includes getting good grades. And that includes being on a four-year schedule because after four years, I'm paying for nothing. Um, And all three graduated in four years. And all three graduated with uh, reasonably good grades. One of them, magna cum something or other. But um, okay. You know, so, uh, you know, that's the other end from my buddy who makes them pay for everything. You're kind of in the middle between those two ends, right? Uh, yeah. In, in the way you're going at it. And so none of the three are wrong. It's just you've got to clearly communicate what's going on there and ask yourself, why are you doing that? In my buddy's case, he, he argues with me all the time that I spoiled my kids. And uh, my kids' performance in the marketplace indicates anything except spoiled. Uh, they're v- all three very hardworking and very diligent, and so apparently I didn't spoil them. But he says, well, they would have they would have been a lot tougher. They would have been a lot better off if you'd have made them work their way through. Yeah, maybe. That's probably true. I, I work my way through. So um, it doesn't kill think, you. You know, my husband and I both put ourselves through college, yep. and we're both really proud of that. And yep. I, so I think that, especially for my husband, it's hard to think about just paying for a kid to go to college mm-hmm. and just writing the checks without him contributing so if they have if they have a mentality an entitlement mentality or if they're not performing 
and they're not living their life according to our value system, boom, I'm right there. Instantaneously, okay. I'm right there. But I think, in other words, I feel like my kids, in defense of this position, not to argue, but there's two ways of looking at it, and I think both are right. Uh, either one's okay with me. Um, but in defense, I think the kids obviously were emotionally and spiritually invested in the process because they performed. If they had not been invested in the process, they would not have gotten out in four years with good grades and lived, a, a, you know, not perfect, but a clean, a clean life. I got you. And so that, that's what you're looking for. So uh, as far as if you want them to invest, you need to tell them how much and when and help them uh, develop some reasonable goals and expectations. Uh, don't just let them wander along and then can't figure out why high school seniors spend all his money on fast food. That's on you guys. So, but next, next semester, if you want him to work and he needs to have $300 to put in or $500 or $2,000 or whatever number you come up with, communicate that and indicate that and show them how to get enough hours and, you know, help them set the goals and develop realistic ways of reaching those goals. And then you're right. By God, they'll be invested. I, and I don't have a problem with that, by the way. Let me say one more time. I don't think your husband is wrong. I don't think that at all. But also don't think oh, we're wrong on the other side. So um, I think it's just a different approach to the same subject. Um, what I do think is wrong is to just, you know, write checks for kids who are misbehaving or kids who won't go to class or kids who have an entitlement bratty mentality or stuff like that. I'm not I'm not going to uh, suggest you put money behind that kind of thing. But neither you nor I were facing that in our situations. So, hey, great question. Thanks for joining us.